Okay, Janie, so we've talked about an issue that you have that um, where you have difficulty moving forward with taking that issue forward. Yes. And we're going to be looking at the things that are holding you back and doing an exercise called force field analysis. So what that is, is we're going to be looking at all the helpful factors, things that are helpful to you moving mm -hmm. forward with your issue, and all the hindering factors, things that are blocking you and stopping you yeah. um, from moving forward. And once we've done that, we're then going to see if we can look at some strategies, ways of strengthening the helpful ones and weakening the hindering ones. Does That'd that be great. sound all right? That'd be great. Okay, so if you just give me um, a really brief outline of uh, the issue that you have. Hmm. Well, as we were talking about it, what I notice is, you know, it's a very p important part of my work that I take time for myself in terms of... Um, my um, looking after my health or doing things that are interesting that are not to do with work. Um, so, the, you know, there's the gym, there's art, there's music. And what I notice is that I find it really difficult to give myself permission to take time in my week to do those things. Okay. So well, the, the thing that we're looking for then is you looking after yourself and taking time to look after yourself. Yes. So what helpful things do you do or people or anything that's helpful to you taking time out to look after yourself? Can you think of the things that are helpful to that process? Um, sometimes it's helpful for things that if I've got a, say, say that I do go singing mm -hmm. and it's a commitment because that's, I go off and I'm with a choir so that's the, you know, a certain night that I do okay. that so actually when that's there that's helpful. So a singing commitment, and on 1 to 10, not being not helpful at all, and 10 being a really helpful thing, where would you put your singing commitment? Um, probably a 6 or 7. A 6 or 7. So we've got a singing commitment. Yeah. Anything else that you think is helpful? Okay. Um, I have gym membership. Gym membership? Mm -hmm. So on a 1 to 10? Um, I don't know whether it's <laughs> up on a high because it's, that's the problem, it's not using yeah, the gym not, and it yeah. becomes a guilt thing. Uh, probably that's lower, that's probably a four. Okay, so we've got gym membership. Yeah. Mm, what are the other things that are helpful? Um, it's helpful if I can allocate time. Okay. And how easy is that? It's not so easy. That's okay. the bit that's lower down the lower end. Okay. It would be helpful, but I don't but do it. But don't do it. So yep. allocating time. Yep. Yeah. I'm wondering if there are any people that are helpful to this? Um, relationships? Yes, my partner's helpful with that. If we would go to the gym together or, or do a creative thing um, with her being an artist yeah. and doing some art stuff with her, yes. So, one to encouraging. Ten? Yes, she's probably up there on a seven or eight. Seven or eight. Okay, so it looks like we've got a number of helpful things mm. ranging from kind of a, what would you say the allocating time is? I put it down the lower end. It is the lower end because yeah. sometimes that's not, it's not, it's not helpful because it doesn't work. So, number? Mm, yeah, probably about one, one. one to okay. two. Yeah. One to two. So we've got. The allocating time that would be yeah. helpful if you if you were mm. able to do that you've got your gym membership which is kind of relatively helpful mm. and kind of helps you to look after yeah. yourself you've got your singing commitment which is quite high and you're committed to mm. and that is a way of looking after yourself yeah. and your partner um, who shares ideas with you and yes. is creative yeah. and goes to the gym with you up the higher end yeah um, and all of those things are helping you move forward to um, spending more time looking after yourself. Yes. What are the things that hinder you or that hold you back? Uh, work. Work. Um, one to ten? That's right up high okay. on the eight or nine. So eight or nine is work. Yeah. That hinders you, yeah. Um, and, a, and some kind of sort of... Um, I, I don't know if that would go into would it sort of kind of guilty conscience yeah, about yeah definitely if that's about spending a time that's holding you back yeah it's, then that's kind a, of value so a okay. guilty conscience where would you put that that's probably up on a seven or eight yeah seven or eight you've got guilt mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, and that, and that, and the time commitment because time is just too full. Okay. That holds me back. So the allocating time is a helpful thing, but actual time yes. isn't so helpful. No. So is that up high? That's again? probably. I do make time, so it's yeah. probably not as high. So it's maybe up in the six and seven. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So do you think that? Or do, can you think of any other mm. things that blocks? Yeah, I mean, I think the thing is that you know, the I ought to be doing is in the guilt yeah. thing. So a lot so of it's to do with to that. That high. seems to be a big one. Okay. So we've got a number of things that are holding you back. In the main, um, the lack of time. Yeah. The feelings, I ought to be doing this, I ought to be doing that. Mm -hmm. Feelings of guilt and your work commitment. Yes. Which is really high. So what we're going to look at now is ways of strengthening the things that you find helpful mm -hmm. and ways of um, weakening uh, the things that aren't so helpful, the yeah. things that are holding you back. Um, for the purposes of this exercise, we haven't got time to do all of them. So is there one that you might pick that we might work on to look at some strategies? Strategies, or do you want the strong ones? or the, It's you entirely want the... up to you. You choose which one you think I think I'd prob useful. the one to work on is the guilt, because I feel okay. that's a big thing. Okay, so what, we're, what we can do is um, think about um, where that guilt evolves from, mm. what's that about, why is that, why does the guilt stop you from um, looking after yourself, yeah. um, and that sounds like there's quite a lot in that, mm. um, yes. is that, just in that one issue, yeah. so what we'll do in our next session is think about the strategies mm. that might be useful um, in helping to kind of weaken that, those guilt feelings, make them a lot less and um, much more um, Kind of think about the helpful things that yeah. might work so yeah. that you can take forward that um, aim that you have to, mm. to be able to spend more time looking after yourself. That would be really useful. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, if we can block that, it would be fantastic. Great. Thank you for that. Thank then. you.